some vitamins or a vitamin and a mineral that's very important for helping produce prostaglandins, helping the body make prostaglandins, in addition to, of course, making sure you're getting your ultimate essential fatty acids on a daily basis. This is why we hit this so hard. And by the way, if you have a fat absorption problem, if you have a liver problem, you had a gallbladder taken out, you had a hysterectomy, your postmenopausal, all these kinds of situations can compromise how well you absorb essential fatty acids from your foods. If you have any of these kinds of health issues and you've compromised EFA absorption at the intestinal level, the chances are pretty darn good that you are going to be dealing with some kind of inflammatory health issue secondary to or following a prostaglandin deficiency, which is why you really want to make sure that in addition to supplementing with your essential fatty acids, you're using your ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, lecithin, bile salts, choline, taurine, glycine, and a whole, all the other nutrients that are help uh, that can help improve the absorption of essential fatty acids, thus the production of prostaglandins. Okay, we will continue talking tomorrow about prostaglandin health. Our number today, 855-660-4261. Let's welcome Cindy in Virginia to the bright side. What's going on, Cindy? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. Um, two questions, if I can ask them. Yes. Um, you talked to me before about um, my constipation. Okay. You have me on alpha lipoic acid. I think you said one teaspoon for each meal. No, 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 Okay, no. I misunderstood Al that. Yes, alpha lipoic acid is not in teaspoons. It's measured in, in milligrams, and it comes in capsules, and it's not used to treat constipation, although it's kind of a, used to treat a lot of things. I think you're maybe thinking of lecithin. Is that what you're thinking of? Could be. It's I'm not sure. alpha lipoic acid. But anyway, how's, how's the constipation going? Are you um, noticing it's, it's better. I'm, I don't think I'm constipated anymore. I'm having, well, I think, what I guess is normal bowel movements, but they're very, very soft. Okay, well, that's still good. Soft is not bad, as long as you're going to the bathroom regularly, cleaning out those col cleaning out that colon, because if you're not cleaning it out, those toxins are coming back in your body. So it's very important you have a bowel movement and you evacuate those colons, th that colon, on a regular basis. Okay. So I uh, hope that's improving, and that's less than, probably less than, which is measured in the teaspoonful, by the teaspoonful, not, not uh, alpha lipoic acid. But wh okay. how can we help you? What's, what's going um, on today? I have dermographic skin. You do? Yeah. Dermographic skin. I love that. I love that term. You know, that's handwriting on the skin. That's where it comes from. That's where the term comes from. Does it look like handwriting? Um, but it can at times if I lay on something. <laughs> isn't, isn't that interesting? It kind of looks like a little, like a little somebody signed their name on your skin. Not quite, but it looks like handwriting. That's what the name comes from. It's an allergic okay. reaction. It's some kind of immune reaction. And the fact that you're constipated or have a history of constipation, that goes hand in hand, if you will, with uh, skin problems. So something's getting into your system, Cindy, that uh, okay. is activating the defensive response, your immune system. That's what the skin problem is. That's what the constipation is. So what you want to do is you want to look to your digestive symptoms, link them up to problem food and then eliminate those foods. That's always the first step. Always, always, always the first step is to find out what's getting into your body that's activating the immune response. A food diary is great. Write down everything you eat and then write down uh, how you feel from a digestive system perspective, constipation, diarrhea, loose stools, cramping, bloating, etc. Uh, uh, and then associate the, those symptoms with specific foods, then eliminate those foods. And then you go into the whole digestive protocol, nutrients for the digestive system, and there's lots of them. Probably the most important are the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You want about three capsules in the morning, three at night, although you can take more. I take more. I take almost 10 a day sometimes. I don't really measure them. I just dump them into my, my, uh, vitamin, my vitamin jar. Uh, I take probably six to 10 of them every day. Uh, but at least six a day is a good place to be, along with fermented foods. Make sure you're using uh, the ultimate enzymes with apple cider vinegar, and then continue, if you're on the lecithin, continue using the lecithin after all your meals. Uh, might not hurt you to get a little extra bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts. And then, uh, as I said, I think I said it yesterday, some radio show, if not this one, I said uh, you want to start off all your meals with parsley or some kind of bitter vegetable, which will help stimulate the secretion of bile, which uh, can help you digest your food and also is important for detoxification. So eliminating problem foods, look to uh, look to digestive support, nutrients for the dige for digestive support to support your digestive system, and then also uh, probiotics and fermented foods. And I'll tell you what, if you go to the doctor or the dermatologist, he's going to give you steroid cream, which is going to do absolutely nothing for the problem, even though it might uh, eliminate the obvious symptoms. It's not going to solve the problem. Got to go to the digestive system for all skin health issues. All of them. I'm talking acne. I'm talking rashes. I'm talking eczema. I'm talking psoriasis. If you got a skin health issue, you probably also have a digestive health issue. Okay?
Yes, thank you thank, very much. Thank you. God bless. Have a beautiful day, Cindy. And let's move on to Pennsylvania and welcome Anne to the Bright Side. What's up, Anne? Hi, Ben. Great hey. show. Thank you. Um, hey, I'm 59, and okay. uh, if I get any direct sun contact, I get warts or smaller, big bumps on my face. Uh, okay. We got some sun uh, sensitivity. Is it? You have it historically your whole life, or just in, as you got older? Uh, like in the last three or four years. Okay. And somebody once said it was a lupus symptom, and, and I had a tighter number once that was approaching lupus. Okay. But I got off almost all grains, and I never got lupus. lupus okay. But I still get some symptoms now and then, so I'm, okay. I'm not sure what it is. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's an immune okay. reaction. Okay. Lupus okay. is a lu- – there's like a cutoff point for lupus, but you can have pre-lupus or subclinical lupus. Lupus is just a generic catch-all phrase that refers to an autoimmune disease that affects the connective tissue in various parts of the body. So it doesn't really matter if you've officially been decreed, you know, knighted as a by as having lupus by some kind of, you know, royalty, medical royalty or medical deity. It doesn't matter if he has decreed you as a lupus patient, you have an immune problem, lupus or not. So what you got to do with all immune problems is go to where most of your immune system is. 70% to 80% of your immune system is located in the digestive tract. I know we say it all the time and I'm, you know, probably people are getting sick of hearing it, but we just got to say it over and over again because that's the way it is. Your immune system and your digestive system are essentially the same. So an immune reaction is by definition almost essentially a digestive system reaction. I hope this isn't a hard sell to anybody. 80, 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is located in the digestive system. Therefore, if you have an immune problem, which includes autoimmunity and, and a skin problem as you're describing it, you also have a digestive system issue. Ma'am, uh, do you have and do you have a, a history of digestive problems throughout that you notice? Actually, why don't you um, hold on, hold on to that answer because we got to take a break, okay? And then think while we're on the break because sometimes they go under the radar, as I've said. Uh, hang tight. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. And there's no reason why you shouldn't live to be at least 100 and have a great time getting there. And I'm going to give you a free copy of my lecture that tells you exactly how to do it. In fact, after you've lived a long and healthy life, there should be only two documents in your medical chart, a birth certificate and a death certificate. I'm Dr. Wallach with a warning. If you have a four-inch medical chart, if you take prescription drugs for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, arthritis, joint pains, and other health issues, the medical profession is failing you. They're using you for an ATM machine. My free lecture is going to reveal what pharmaceutical companies don't want you to know. There's been groundbreaking research and discoveries on how to effectively treat or eliminate over 900 different diseases naturally and it's all in my free lecture called deadly recipe so call toll free 1-855-79-YOUNG again that's toll free 1-855-79-YOUNG 1-855-79-YOUNG So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, 
capsicum, six vegetable, and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day, take them camping, or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods, 30dayfoodsupply.com. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist-like clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Freeze Dry Guy. Thomas, talk about customer service at GCN. GCN is extraordinary in how they take care of their customers. The bottom line, Freeze Dry Guy keeps advertising on GCN because it works. If you'd like to experience unbelievable customer service, call Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Hi, we're back on the bright side talking to Ann in Pennsylvania. Where do you live in Pennsylvania, by the way, Ann? Uh, I'm in Washington, Pennsylvania. Where? What, that's the name of the town? Yeah, it's, um, it's about southwest of Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. So you're in deep Pennsylvania, is what I call it, because it takes hours okay. to get there from anywhere. <laughs> you yeah, know Mars there you is? Go. <laughs> Mars, Pennsylvania? You know where that is? Are you near I've Mars? I've heard of it. I'm not sure where that is. Okay. That's near Hershey, Pennsylvania. Anyway, um, here's the deal. Uh, by the way, do you know a lot of famous people have lupus? Michael Jackson had lupus. Uh, Lady Gaga had lupus. Let's see. Wow. Uh, there was a guy, a baseball player, a famous baseball player named Tim Raines, actually a really good baseball player, and he had lupus. So it's pretty common. Lupus is a catch-all phrase. Uh, it, it can occur anywhere in the body. It's a generic autoimmune disease. It can happen anywhere, but most typically it happens in the skin. The, uh, the official name for lupus is systemic lupus, or actually systemic lupus erythematosus, which means redness. Lupus, L-U-P-U-S, is Latin for wolf. Anybody who speaks Spanish knows that lupe or lupo means wolf. Lupus is uh, the it comes from the the uh, the characteristic butterfly sort of shaped rash that occurs in the cheeks, um, and it is systemic. That's where the term systemic lupus erythematosus or SLE comes from. So it happens anywhere in the body. You're happy, having it on the skin. Anytime you have a skin issue or an autoimmune issue, you got to go to the digestive system. This should be no surprise. It's not like I'm some kind of food or digestive system crazy person that uh, that links everybody everything to the digestive system, even though I do, because it all somehow boils down to digestive health, but certainly if you have an immune issue, think digestion. Most of your immune system is in the digestive system, which makes sense because the digestive system is going to interact with the environment more often than any other system in the body with the exception of the skin, which is like the digestive system outside in. Anyway, uh, what do you do? Look to problem foods, number one. If you have digestive symptomology, you're ahead of the game because then it makes it easier to look to uh, link problem foods to the symptoms. But if you don't know you have digestive sy symptoms, find them. Guaranteed you got a man. Guaranteed. 100%. Not 99.9. 100%. There's something percolating in the digestive tract. Yes. Yes, okay. in fact, a doctor told me I had leaky gut. Whoa, well, hello. Uh, I'm not psychic, Ben. That's just how okay. it works. <laughs> That's there just how go. it works. That's just how it works. Okay, and I can go through the whole mechanism, but we don't have time. Just know that if you have an immune condition and or a skin condition, you've got a digestive condition, too. Until you correct the digestive problems, everything's going to tumble out of control. And you're a young woman, Ann. You're only 59. But if you don't control this now, if you don't address the symptoms, uh, the cause of the symptoms now, it's going to tumble out of control and it can lead to all kinds of horrible things. So eliminate problem foods, find the problem 
problem foods, then eliminate them. Link your foods to constipation or diarrhea or loose stools or cramping or bloating or heartburn or anything you can come up with. Eliminate those foods. Same thing we just talked about with, um, with our last caller, Cindy. Get on the probiotics. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Use the Z-Radical or the Fucoidin Z. I forgot to mention that to Cindy, but if you're listening, Cindy, the Fucoidin Z and the Z-Radical can coat the digestive tract and help speed up healing of the cells of the digestive system. Eat fermented food, uh, miso, kimchi, tempeh, uh, fermented beets, sauerkraut, anything that's fermented is your friend. Or you can make your own fermented foods as well, kefir, yogurt. Um, then you want to start using the digestive enzymes.